Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the Geo Heatmap widget in our platform. In this video, we will be showing you how to create a Geo Heatmap widget and how to customize it to suit your needs. But first, let us talk about what a Geo Heatmap widget is. A Geo Heatmap widget is a tool that allows you to visualize data on a map using colors to represent the status of data at various locations. Industries that can benefit from using geo heat maps in IoT platforms include agriculture, environmental monitoring, smart city infrastructure, construction, engineering, energy and utilities and others. This can be useful for analyzing data such as water levels, humidity, pollution, and other sensor readings in real time. In the case of smart cities, for instance, geo heat maps can assist the authorities with air quality monitoring, waste management, public safety, water level monitoring and more. In our example, we will create a geo heat map dashboard that relies on sensors measuring the water levels in Bangkok and nearby provinces, visualizing situation levels from approximately 150 sensors. In a detailed view the dashboard will provide valuable insights into the water levels of Chow Phra Ya River, neighboring Klongs and other bodies of water in the city. It can be useful in preventing flooding by providing the authorities with a visual representation of areas that are at high risk of flooding. The authorities then can identify and prioritize areas for flood prevention measures such as preventive emptying of water basins, improving drainage systems, implementing flood barriers, developing emergency response plans and building up flood resilience. Now, let us get started. Please log in to your Octobus account and navigate to the Dashboard tab where you want to add the Geo Heatmap widget. Click on Create button and then click on the Geo Heatmap widget. In the next step, under the Select Data tab, in the drop-down menus, select your asset types, assets, and the measurement you want to collect. Since you have already registered them and synchronized with Octobus, they will be automatically reflected in these drop-down menus. In our case we will pick the Thailand Water Levels asset type, the Chow Phra Ya River Basin assets, and the Situation Level measurement type. After completing this task, click on the Next button and go to the Visualization tab where you can define your visualization. Here you can adjust colors, radius and opacity of the heat map to suit your needs. In our example we allocate 1 to the blue color, the safest situation level, and 5 to the red color, the hazardous situation level. The radius is defined in meters, a 10 meter radius for each sensor in our case. The lowest blur factor of 1 will show solid points, and a higher blur factor will show faded areas, we chose a factor of 85. Finally. You can create your Geo Heatmap widget and add it to your dashboard. Now you can view the heatmap in real time and monitor changes in the data over time. In our example, the Geo Heatmap displays the water levels in Chow Phra Ya River near the Bangkok area, allowing us to identify critical areas where flooding may occur. By analyzing the density of the data on the map, we can quickly determine the high risk zones and take appropriate measures to prevent potential flooding. And that's it. That is how you create a Geo Heatmap widget in the Octobus platform. Literally, within minutes you can start monitoring the data which is important to you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below or get in touch with us directly. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.